Okay, so one of the most popular questions I get is, should I update or can I update to iOS 18 beta? And given the fact that Apple may soon release the first public beta for iOS 18, I'm sure a lot of you guys may be asking yourself, what are some of the issues currently happening with iOS 18 in order to perhaps update to the first public beta, most likely becoming available as early as this week of the 15th of July. So throughout this week, Apple will most likely release the first public beta and the fourth developer beta. And a lot of you guys may be enticed to update in order to try some of the new features, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the latest issues, bugs and concerns with iOS 18 betas right now so that if you do decide to update to the first public beta once apple makes that available again most likely this upcoming week then you know what you're getting yourself into so let's go ahead and dive right into this video now the first thing i want to talk about is bluetooth there's something strange happening between bluetooth and of course the airpods and this is something that's plagued the iphone with ios 18 beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 now yes beta software tends to have issues so you don't typically hear me talk about a lot of the bugs because I know that beta software contains many bugs and these will be ironed out most likely hopefully before the official release but as of right now when connecting airpods to my iphone i constantly have the same issue where the airpods would just disconnect constantly when listening to music now i believe this could be an issue specifically with airpods because when i try connecting my iphone to an external speaker for example or the radio in my car it doesn't disconnect it randomly disconnect and constantly disconnects from AirPods. So if you use AirPods a lot, keep in mind that as of right now, sitting in the third developer beta, there's a lot of issues with Bluetooth and connection to AirPods specifically. So just keep that one in mind. Now, something else that I did want to mention that I think is very important for a lot of you guys to know about is third-party banking and financial applications. So if you have your bank application or any financial or payment system on your iPhone, not every application is impacted but i've noticed that some of my financial and payment services are having issues and sometimes the apps just don't even work at all so just keep in mind that if you have an app on your iphone for your bank or anything like payment systems and services this could be impacted or not work at all if you update to ios 18 and again i know ios 18 public beta will soon become available, but that does not mean that iOS 18 is ready for everyone. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is messages because Apple has brought RCS support to messages within iOS 18, but not everyone gets this new feature, at least not yet. Keep in mind, this is something happening right now here in the US, and RCS isn't working for every single carrier here in the US. I've been having issues with Verizon, for example, here in the US. My T-Mobile devices are connecting just fine but some of my Verizon devices are not working properly. We do have RCS support, but again, it is not working perfectly fine. So if you're looking to update just because of RCS, obviously there's still going to be issues in your carrier may need to enable this feature on their end before you can actually use it. Now, two major concerns I want to talk about before I let you guys go. Uh, number one is battery life. Obviously, this is beta software. So if you're looking for the best battery life, it's not going to happen with iOS 18. Keep in mind that I constantly have to charge my device. I want to say at least twice a day so that I can get through my entire day. Now, it isn't the worst battery life for beta software, but you know, obviously it's beta, so the battery just isn't the best. Keep in mind that you're not going to have great battery life and you may have to charge your iPhone more often than you probably do now on an official software. And the other thing that's concerning to me is overheating issues. This has happened to me at least four to five times now where I plug my iPhone in to charge, the iPhone is just sitting there and it just stops charging because of some overheating. As you can see right there, it will return to charge when the temperature is back to normal as you can see there with this warning right here so with all that being said should you update your iphone to ios 18 public beta 1 or developer beta 4 to be honest i think you guys should probably hold off at least a couple of days after the first public beta and the fourth developer beta is released i'll test the software give you guys some feedback and then you can decide if you want to install the next ios 18 developer or public beta now i'm sure a lot of you guys are looking forward to a lot of the apple ai 
entire Apple intelligent features, some of the new Siri stuff that may be added with the next beta. I'm sure many of you guys are looking forward to these updates, but keep in mind that there's a lot of issues that you may want to consider before you decide to update to the next public beta or developer beta. Thank you for watching this one. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.